what's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how I would improve co-op for eFootball 2024. Yes, you can have some great crack with co-op, but there's still a long way to go with this mode. So let's get straight into it. What's up lads? Have you been like me at this screen waiting, 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 waiting. That's the first thing, right? This is way too slow, right? I know that this a lot of this is down to user error as well in terms of not user error, but people trying to be Jose Mourinho or Pep Guardiola in the formations and the tactics. But I have literally sped up this section of the video from literally pressing X on the matchmaking when you have all your players in your lobby and then obviously get to your team selection. You get to, it, there's just too much going on, man. Like look how long it takes. And I've sped this up by about maybe 30, 40% um, as to like how long it actually takes to get to this screen, right? I don't know why it takes so long. And then obviously because you have leaders and you have people that are able to do it, they just need to streamline it, man. Genuinely, they just need to streamline this because it's way too slow. A few moments later. Like genuinely, I, I don't understand why it takes people so long to get into a match and do the formations even in 1v1. So when you add five people to that. A few moments later. It's always going to be worse, right? So waiting, waiting, waiting. Like if I'm streaming and I'm even just playing casually, it nearly takes me longer to set up a match in co-op. And that's if nobody disconnects, right? Because obviously we still have server issues and stuff like that. But yeah, look, it's just way too long, man. You're seeing it time and time again. Now, what I would do as a kind of constructive criticism and as a feedback, I would literally just have one screen for the leader, as you see here. I've done a mock-up here with my absolutely unbelievable graphic design skills. Shuffle players, game plan, change, change jerseys. Everyone has this option on their screen. Obviously, the leader gets to choose it and is just able to do everything within one screen, right? So there's no messing, there's no waiting screen, there's no, like, ready to go, ready to rock and roll, and literally being sitting there for about, you know, sometimes it takes literally three or four minutes to actually get into a game. And then some people pause it at kickoff before the match has started. All right, the next point that we're going to talk about is going to be gameplay. So that's probably the biggest issue at the moment in terms of co-op, right? Now, I could make a huge video on gameplay for about maybe 40 minutes, but I am going to streamline it down. If you want to see me talk more about some of the changes coming to gameplay, I will be doing a dedicated gameplay uh, eFootball 2024, what I want to see, right? But the biggest problem I have in co-op is the core bunching of players even when you're not controlling the players right so this is kind of an example of you know there's what there's multiple players there's multiple challenges going in there's a lot of collisions and it just doesn't really flow right and what it does is it means that you've got six seven players chasing the ball at any given time especially with how defensive and aggressive the ai is right which means that the only way to open up gaps is to literally get rid of the ball instantly like people that struggle with co-op, they just still play it like they're playing 1v1 possession. But look at the amount of kind of carnage going on here and how goals kind of come from it. It's all about interceptions, rebounds, you know, getting a second chance at a ball, even though you defend it. You can see here again, this is another image. Look how much like bunching is going around here. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's like, I don't even know. It's like being in an elevator with like 50 people just trying to get in, right? So I don't know what the solution really to this is in terms of co-op because the core gameplay needs to be balanced for like 1v1 and co-op. I don't know how they would do that. You know, whether they have a dedicated co-op mode where the gameplay is like 20% slower. I actually am open to suggestions for that, you know, from you guys. So let me know what you think. But listen, you can still have fun with co-op, man. You can still have fun with it. But a lot of the times is it's going to be you know, winning the ball, losing the ball, winning the ball, losing the ball, interception, hitting off an ankle, interception, win the ball, slide tackle, you know, shoulder charge. And listen, these gameplay clips that you're seeing here are literally casual me playing against my subscribers. If you want to get involved, we do stream it every Friday um, where we play a lot of co-op. We stream most of our streams. We, we finish with a bit of chill out uh, co-op, right? But you know, if you're playing against an actual aggressive player and if you're playing in a tournament where there's something to play for or even if you're playing when they do start bringing events and stuff, which we'll get to in a minute, you can just imagine how aggressive, how sweaty and how like serious people are going to take this, that they're going to be able to abuse, just bunching around, have multiple players running around and just being able to like frustrate you to make it a frustrating experience. So for me, co-op needs to be, you know, more like this where you kind of, it's about movement, team, team play. 
And goals like this are kind of rare to get because it's so bunched up, right? Even if you're a good player, it's very hard to defend against it. Now, we're moving on to my next point, right? I don't want to make this video too long. If you have anything else, I will do a follow-up video to this where I can talk about it because I know you will have some good ideas as well. This is just stuff that I want to see that I think could be very simply introduced into eFootball 2024. And this is, this is probably the biggest one, right? In terms of the gameplay and responsiveness and all that, there's nothing to actually play co-op for, right? You're talking about a 1v1 experience, right? That is frustrating at the best of times, right? Even if you're winning and you're flowing, okay? In 1v1 in divisions or events, you're still going to come up against a frustrating experience every now and again, right? Even if you're winning games. But for co-op, right? Co-op should be really engaged, engaging, like actually playing for fun, but also playing towards something to have a different experience. If I come home from work, well, I work from home, but if somebody comes home from work, right? And they've had a really stressful day and they're like, oh, I want to sit down and play. This is what they should be having at their disposal. It's like a co-op challenge, something super simple where you take your points that you get that we just saw on the screen before and you amass those points to claim a reward, right? And make it difficult. Make it people that have to grind, right? Nobody wants... The game already gives us free Messi, Mbappe, Pavard, all these fantastic players, Rinaldo, who you can get for a free five-star nominating contract, right? Make it really, really difficult to grind. I mean, obviously 25,000 points is probably going to mean that you need to play maybe 10 games of co-op, right? But make it challenging. Maybe have challenges within the co-op, right? It's just ideas. But as I said, these 1,800 points to me literally mean nothing in the grand scheme of things, right? Because number one, it has no bearing on literally anything because you're not playing towards anything. There's nothing to gain from it, right? Somebody, if just somebody wants to get these highest points, yes, you can just shoot all over the place, but at least you'd have something to work towards with your squad. You could either play through matchmaking or your clan, as we see here, right? As I said, lads, look, these are just very basic ideas of stuff that I would like. Imagine actually sitting down, right, to play this with your buddies on the weekend. You come home from work or you chill out from work, you've got a couple of hours to play, and you're like, right, I can go on and I can play 1v1, um where all I have to play for is divisions and, you know, points to get up to the divisions where nothing happens and there is no reward from being division nine to being division one or being top 10 in the world to being top 1 million in the world, right? But with co-op, you could get on with your buddies, you could just sit back, you could chill out, win, lose, or draw. You can literally just be gaining points, 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 working towards a beastly card that you can't get anywhere else. You can't buy him for coins, you can't buy him for GP. It's literally a co-op reward. It doesn't have to be Cristiano, it doesn't have to be any player, but a really special, unique player that you can't get anywhere else, right? So that's just a really quick video from me for how I would improve co-op. Let me know your thoughts below.